Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Crystal from the Flying Seahorse. If you're new here, welcome. Very happy to have you guys here. If you're returning, thank you guys for your support. I'm glad to have you here. If you have not taken a moment to subscribe to my channel, I'd be grateful for you to do so now. I really appreciate all of your love and support. So the project that I have to share with you guys today is for the Crafty Dreamers design team. And I had a lot of fun creating this gorgeous hourglass for the inspiration for this month's mood board. We would love for you guys to come out and join us and we can't wait to see what you guys have to create. Please comment down below and let me know what you think of this hourglass. I cut this uh, template out from my Cricut machine. I took a cereal box and cut the standard template and then I did the fancy part of the hourglass as well. I actually taped two of the cereal boxes together to give it a little more um, sturdiness so that I could uh, be able to work on it and put a little bit more heavier materials on it and then I decided that um, once I got done with this part right here I decided that it needed to be a little bit more sturdy so I actually took some duct tape and I covered the entire hourglass and then I went back over it with some um, heavy white gesso and some white chalk paint. So now I am taking some matte acrylic paint and some pretty teal and teal blue type colors and I'm covering my hourglass with them and then I'm going to take the two colors and I'm going to blend them together. Um, I've been really into blending paint colors lately and it's just creates such a beautiful ombre vibe and works really well for a lot of projects so I decided that I really wanted to do this for this project so I just took both of the colors covered my hourglass with it and just kept going over it and blending it until I was happy with the results of the way it looked um, and you know that's the way you have to do it sometimes you have to just keep blending and blending and blending until you get it the way you want um, I did put down the base coat first I dried it and then I went back over it with the other um, blue teal color and then I that's after I did this that's when I started blending the colors and it just out so beautifully it just laid down great and the texture from the duct tape worked out perfectly it just gave it that extra something that it needed it just absolutely gorgeous and I love the way this piece turned out So once I got done blending my colors, while the paint was still wet, I took some Finna Bear uh, Platinum Crackle Paste and I went over the hourglass. And it, the reason I did it while the paint was still wet was so that the paint colors would come through the Crackle Texture Paste and give it the same color as the color underneath. And it actually worked out pretty well. I really love that technique. It's, it's just a perfect way to get the color into the crackle paste. So now I'm taking a Versamark watermark pen and I am um, writing in um, on my fancy part of my hourglass so that I can emboss it in princess gold. Um, I wanted to do the uh, hourglass the fancy part of the hourglass um in gold and um so i'm digging out my princess gold embossing powder and i'm going to go over it and then i actually decided to do the other part of it in um rose gold so i did princess gold and rose gold and it turned out absolutely gorgeous i love the way it turned out OK, 
Okay, so now that the embossing is done, I'm going to take some tacky glue and I'm going to put it on the back of my fancy hourglass piece so that I can attach it to the hourglass base. Um, as you can see, the crackle paste turned out absolutely beautiful. The color came through very well and I am very thrilled with the way that it turned out. So I'm just taking and pressing down and I'm going to lay something heavy on top of this so that um, I can be sure that the hourglass piece attaches to the base. So I let that do that for a few minutes and let it dry and then once I'm done with that I take it off and I start working on my flowers. I cut some flowers off of my Cricut machine and these are rolled flowers and I just basically rolled the flowers, I glued them and then I took and sprayed some Lindy's on them um, and then I took and sprinkled some Lindy's Magicals on them um, in various shades of blue and teals to just really give it that color and then I also did some pinks as well and I just love the way these flowers turned out they're absolutely beautiful if I can find the file that I used for them I will link that in the description box below if you're ever uh, wondering what I use in my projects I usually link all of the supplies in the description box below um, I don't actually put links where you can find them but it, a quick Google search you can find them usually pretty quickly um, a lot of times um, some of the things that I use they no longer sell anymore so that's why that I don't link them but sometimes if they're newer products I will link them in the description box below but either way I put everything that I use in the description box and usually sometimes where you can find them so like I said I sprayed the Lindy's on the flower and then I took some um, Lindy's Magicals and tapped them on the flower and then sprayed it again and then once I was done with that, I took in a uh, heat gun and I dried them really well and then set them off to the side and let them finish completely drying. So I, at this point, I needed something that looked like sand. Um, so I took these cosmic flakes I think they're called and um, I took some Mod Podge and the Cosmic Flakes and I just added them to the part where the sand would be and I love how this turned out. I've never used these flakes before. I've seen them used in resin um, and certain other projects but I've never used them, never had any experience with them and I had a lot of fun doing this and it, it just turned out so gorgeous. Um, and it worked really well for the sand portion of the hourglass. So I'm just tidying up my edges and now I'm going to take my embellishments and kind of see what I'm working with so that I can move forward to the next step to see what I want to do. So I'm getting all of my little flowers, all of my little embellishments. I have some wings, I have some arrows, some metal embellishments, and of course the flowers that I created earlier in the video. And so I decided that I wanted to em, um, paint and emboss my embellishments. I actually took some vintage gold um, wax for the metal embellishment there. I covered the wings and the arrow in um, heavy gesso. And then I went over the wings with a little bit of the cosmic... Uh, I think it's gilding flakes um, and just to give it a little bit of a texture um, after I embossed it but I used some Lindy's embossing powders for these um, the arrow and the wings and then um, after I was done with that it would be time for me to decide how I wanted uh, the embellishments and all to look on my hourglass so I basically arranged it how I wanted it and then started adding more pieces to 
the project I ended up adding a um, vintage looking clock sticker from Jolie's Boutique. I'm not sure I don't think I added anything else but I just arranged my embellishments the way I wanted them how I wanted them to look on the hourglass and then once I had everything arranged the way I wanted it I started gluing everything down with hot glue and tacky glue um, I added various layers of embellishments beads um, everything from gears to resin wings to paper flowers beads and glitter and whatnot i had a lot of fun creating this project i feel like it's such a unique project i haven't really seen a whole lot of mixed media hourglasses so this is definitely something i really have been wanting to create for a really long time and it was a really a lot of fun to be able to create this gorgeous piece and i really hope you guys liked it too i hope you liked the video um also make sure to give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and like i said comment down below and tell me what you guys think of the hourglass um and if you own a cricket what is your favorite thing that you have ever created with your cricket that you never thought that you would be able to create otherwise um, I, like I said, I created this base with uh, my Cricut machine and it really opened up a lot of doors to be able to do things that I had not ordinarily been able to do without the machine. So it, it's really a big difference and, you know, I've been wanting to create an hourglass for a really long time and really had no idea how I was going to do it. And this machine really just opened that door for me and... I feel like that's going to be the case this year. I'm really stepping up my game and I'm going to be bringing a lot of fun projects for you guys and I really hope that you guys stick around and stay a part of my YouTube family. I really love having you guys here. I love reading your comments. I love seeing your thumbs up. Um, if you have any suggestions of any things that you would like to see in future videos, I am open for suggestion. I love hearing your feedback, so make sure to comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. Um, after all, I do make these videos for you guys, so I would love to hear what you guys want to see next. So now I'm just kind of arranging uh, the pieces the way I had them um, by gluing them down and just having fun with it. It's just it's such a gorgeous piece. Uh, so many details and 
whatnot. And I just really hope you guys enjoy it. And I would love for you guys to come over and join us at Crafty Dreamers. Um, I just got on the design team at this challenge blog. And it is an awesome team of very very creative ladies and it's not just mixed media i mean there's card makers there there are scrapbookers mixed media artists you name it i mean there's something for everyone and we would really love to have you guys join us i will link uh the their group in the description box below so come on over and check us out
guys, so I'm adding my finishing touches on my hourglass, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it brought some inspiration and creativity to you guys. I, If you liked the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. Also, make sure to check out the giveaway that I have going on. I will link that in the description box below as well. Uh, check out the end screen for more awesome content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.